Hey, hey, hey. Well, have you been searching to figure out if it's legal for you to start a teeth whitening business? How many videos have you watched before this? Well, here you are. Now you found me. So let's talk about it. Are you interested in starting a teeth whitening business and just really want to understand, can I legally do this? How does this work? If you're interested in getting that question answered, stay tuned. All right, guys, how's it going? This is Gina with Impressive Glow Spray Tan and Teeth Whitening Training, where my ultimate mission always is to help women, moms, single moms, learn how to build a side hustle as a spray tan technician and teeth whitening technicians. So the ultimate question, can I legally perform or offer um, either a teeth whitening business to start it, to offer it as an additional service in my existing business? What can I and can't I do? Girl, same, or guy, because I have some guys who take training. Um, but same, when I was starting to do, um, or looking into offering teeth whitening, I had to do so much research to figure out what I could and couldn't do. I knew there were like some thin lines as to what I was gonna be allowed to do. Um, the stuff on Instagram, I was seeing everybody do it and knew they didn't have dental degrees. And so I did like a year's worth of research. Like it took me that long to really understand what even is legal for me to do. So let's get through this very, very quickly, okay? So the rules and the laws in terms of practicing dentistry and what professionals can and can't do in terms of the dental field, cosmetic teeth whitening, things of those natures are written for um, professionals who are actually physically touching their clients, right, or their patient. Because the minute that you're actually touching a patient or touching a client, that right there is considered practicing dentistry, right? And so of course, I'm not a dentist, you're not a dentist, the people who are performing uh, and offering teeth whitening services are not dentists, regardless if you are a registered dental hygienist, regardless if you have a dental degree, regardless if you have a dental assisting license or certification, we are not dentists. So the laws are written for state to state as to who can perform teeth whitening service when actually applying the gel themselves. And every law, or I'm sorry, every state is different. Some states state that only dental physicians that have doctoral, doctoral dental degrees can actually perform uh, teeth whitening and be able to apply the gel or whatever the whitening product is directly onto the teeth. Some states say, state that anybody can apply it in the dental office as long as the dental physician is overseeing the whole process of that. Some states will say that a reg registered dental hygienist is allowed to do that. So that is the difference of who and who can actually perform cosmetic teeth whitening in terms of touching your client. So I hope that kind of clarifies things, okay? So when it comes to cosmetic teeth whitening and services and wanting to offer that as a service to your clients and your already existing um, beauty business or if you're wanting to start this from scratch and just wanna offer just that service, Training is so important and getting all the right information from your training program is essential. That's literally what's gonna keep you safe in terms of the law and what you're allowed to do. So please understand that. So my training program is all based on clarifying the laws, but also allowing you as the service provider, the knowledge to walk your clients through the process of actually applying the gel themselves to them in the service. So oftentimes, one of the biggest questions that I get asked from people who are interested in doing um, teeth whitening or starting a business or offering this service is why would a client pay me to apply gel or teeth whitening gel to themselves? Well, that's not the only thing that consists of a dental uh, or a cosmetic teeth whitening appointment. What they're paying for is the knowledge that I have as to how to perform the service and how to walk them through the service. Also, they're paying for products that you cannot get anywhere else but in your session. You can't purchase these whitening gels off 
um, in Target. You can't purchase them online. Um, well, literally impressive glow products, which are mine. Only my students can actually offer these products. Um, you have the knowledge of how to do this. You have the product and you have the equipment to offer um, this service. These teeth whitening LED lights are not the ones that you get on Instagram that they do teeth whitening home kits with. These are um, specifically designed for teeth whitening and have different types of voltage, different types of power. Um, so that's what they're paying you for. They're paying you for your knowledge, they're paying you for the supplies and the products, and they're paying you for the equipment. Now, whether you're doing this mobile or in home, or if you have a space, regardless, you're offering that service. And I personally have never had an issue with a client asking me, well, why am I paying you for this if I'm doing this myself? I have had a client ask me why some other things that they may have seen on Instagram where the service provider was actually touching them, and I don't do that. And I am very truthful with my clients in terms of any types of questions that, that they, they may have for that reason, um, is letting them know that it's, essentially against the law for me to actually touch you because then that would be considered me practicing dentistry on you and I'm not a dentist. I cannot tell you how many times my clients have looked at me and been, had been so um, thankful that I was just honest, right? So good training is super important because we see all of the stuff on Instagram and people touching clients. And um, I think the misconception with trainers is that they believe or pass along the information that if your clients signs a consent form that that legally you know gets you out of any type of situation if something were to happen to your client not essentially the american dental association does not acknowledge um patient signed consent forms because you know you can't do it like literally if you know you can't do something and regardless if somebody signs it the american dental association is going to say i'm sorry you knew you couldn't do this so there's a very thin line as to what you can, well, maybe not a thin line. Maybe there's a big black line that says you can do this and you can't do this. <laughs> so I hope this uh, clarifies some things for you guys. So if this has clarified your question about whether or not you are allowed to offer um, cosmetic teeth whitening, please leave, leave a comment and say this clarified it for me or leave me a comment that this actually helped you. And if you're interested in getting some more information about teeth whitening and the business and how to start all that, subscribe so you can see all the things. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you are interested in offering um, teeth whitening as a service or wanting to start a service and you're interested in how much does it really cost to start that, watch this video. That will give you all the information you need. If you need anything else from me, let me know. All the information is going to be in the description box. Have a good day.